Do you want to become a Roblox UGC creator? If you do, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply to the UGC program and basically how you can get access to uploading to the catalog. You are first going to need to know how to make accessories a bit like this one here and if you don't know how to do that i'm not going to show that in this video but i'll put a card on screen right now to a video on how to make a ugc beginner like basic item so watch that video if you want to know how to make one but if you already have a few concepts like i do here then you'll be able to um, very easily apply using the steps I show you. But also one new thing I am offering, if you guys want to spend a bit of money to learn a lot faster and learn to become a lot better at modeling, I do offer one-to-one -one lessons on how to improve at Blender. So if you want lessons on how to improve at Blender, go to my Discord server and DM me. My Discord server is linked in the description. But yeah, if you're looking for a free way to learn, my tutorials are honestly fine. It'll just take a little bit longer. What you want to do is you want to go to the link in the top of the description and it'll take you here to the developer forum where there is actually the application link for UGC. It'll take you to this post by Burrito and you basically want to go onto his post and you want to scroll down. Scroll down to where it says ready to apply. Of course, read all this stuff. Of course, read all this. I'm not saying don't read this. But you want to go down to where it says ready to apply. Please submit your application through this link and click on the link and it'll open up this survey. So you have to read all this out and basically what it says here is um, you need to head over to the avatar shop and get inspired. So like look at some items and get some inspiration. And then for this, you need to make one accessory. So let's take these kitty ears, for example, and basically you need to make an item perhaps like this. I, I don't know. Basically what you need to make is you need to make one item and document it. Of course you want a portfolio of a lot of items. So if you've got a lot of items you've already made, then that's great. But you need to actually video yourself making one item to really demonstrate your skills and let them know that you actually know what you're doing. And here you can pick either a hat, hair, a face accessory, a neck accessory, shoulder, front, back, waist, or layered clothing. And it also says here, again, um, if you want to, you know, if you have like a portfolio of a lot of items, add them to a talent hub portfolio. And you do need to make a talent hub portfolio to apply. And to do that, you just have to go to the link in my description. It'll be just under the link to the UGC application. And it'll take you here to the talent hub. And as you can see, um, it brings you here. It's a bit like the dev forum, but it's kind of like a newer version for mainly for portfolios and getting hired. So if I go here to um, update your creator page, it'll show my page. And my page basically just says, you know, robots developer, three years of experience, blender, substance painter, substance designer. And it's just good to list a few things, you know, have, to have some links and stuff and just show some of your work, really. So yeah, if you want to um, really show some of your work, is what you do. I, you could probably show more than I did here, but I just showed a few little things. And then it says, you know, they're looking for uh, unique creators, but you also need you know, good skills and stuff. But yeah, um... And it also says here that when you submit your accessory, so that the accessory you do a video of, you have to make sure that it's an accessory, not just a mesh, and that it's an RBXM. If you want to know how to get um, your model as an accessory, I'll put a tag to a video on screen right now showing you exactly how to do it. Do watch that if you want to know how to. But yeah, it says here, you know, we'll periodically pull submission, keep an eye on your email for results. So you do have to put your email in for this submission. So you need your email and you need to put in a few bits of personal information. So here, please enter your birth date. So here you need to enter your birth date to get, apply. So I'm gonna put mine here. And then once you put that in, click this little arrow in the bottom right corner and it'll come up with this. And again, you've got to fill in this entire um, document. So what you see here is your first name, obvious, last name, obvious, your email address, you will need an email address, your Roblox username, make sure that it is your main account and stuff, the country you're located in, your Twitter handle, so you will need a Twitter, and how you heard about the application. So if you're watching this video right now, just put maybe like, you know, uh, Sam Roblox underscore YouTube video. Something like that. If you put something like that, you know, um, let them know how you found it. I, d I don't know why they asked, but you know, it'd be cool to get credit. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. Um, so basically, if you fill this in, I'll, I'll fill mine in now. And yeah, we'll see where we're at next. And there we go, I filled mine in. And also guys, please do follow my Twitter. I made a new Twitter because my old one was a bit dead. So please do help me get some followers on my new Twitter and like some of my tweets. This is some of the absolute banging tweets you're going to see if you follow me. So uh, be sure to follow me for stuff like this. And again, click the um, little arrow in the bottom right corner. And now you want to just tick yes because you should have read them. And how many experience, years of experience you have? I have around three to five years of experience, uh, but you choose whatever is applicable to you. I don't think it matters. So if you have only got a year of experience or less, don't lie, just put what you really have because it'll you know, give them a better idea as to where you're at. 
And then has any of your modeling work been used in any Roblox games? Just put the names of the Roblox games. But like for me, I'm gonna put uh, Floor is Lava Ultimate, my game. You should play it, I'll link it in the description. Yeah, play it, play it. This is my game, released recently. So yeah, I'll link it in the description. So you can put that there, and if you have multiple games, you just put like comma, space, and then the name again, go do that. So you click the next arrow, and this is where you get to the important slide. This is like the, the make or break, whether you get accepted. Read this all carefully. So please upload the one type of accessory you have created. This is the one that you videoed yourself making. So here you want to do, um, you go here where it says your submission must be uploaded accessory. So please compress your .rbxm files into a zip file. So what you need to do here is basically you need to get your file of your, your concept and you want to put it into Roblox turn it into an accessory and set, export it as an RBXM. Again, I'll put a tag to the video that I show you how to do it in now. So click that tag if you want to know how to do this. And a zip file is quite easy. You just right click on the file and, and send it to a zip and then drag and drop it into here. Make sure it is below two megabytes. That is very important. And this one says, you know, up upload your documentation. It doesn't have to be a video. You can do images, but I would just do a video. It's the easiest way. And it has to show at least 75% of the creation process. And again, you don't want to do like a high quality video you have to make sure it's lower quality so it's a low file size see here, see here max file size is 50 megabytes please compress the file if it's larger so just make sure that your you know your video isn't too high and drop them in there and then coming down here it says submit a copy of your UGC portfolio you must have an active uh, portfolio on the talent hub for this to be approved so basically this is two things it needs here so what it wants is um, a UGC portfolio so basically you want to just drag and drop like an image of all your UGC stuff it has to be one image you can only upload one image here but make sure you drop in one image that shows you know all your UGC items that you want to kind of like show off and then here you want to link your talent hub profile so to link it just go on to here you see I'm on my profile just go click the link at the top Control C and then come back over to the thing and then Control V and just paste it in like that. Now, any final notes, you can just let them know, you know, if you have any past experiences that you think will help you um, that make them, you know, that they should get you, whatever. But yeah, that is basically the whole application process. That's the video. If you want to know how much money UGC creators make, watch this video on screen. And anyway, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.